Hi, this is Philippe. I'm a distinguished security engineer at GitLab, and today we're going to talk about the Security Awards program. So the Security Awards program is a program that we just launched uh, in the last quarter. And the goal of this program is, is to incentivize uh, security initiatives uh, from GitLab members and the community to solve as many security related uh, problems as possible. Everyone is entitled to participate. Actually, there's nothing to do. The security uh, department is going to nominate people directly using some labels. And we have what we call the council uh, issue where we're going to vote for the best uh, initiatives every week. And the number of votes is going to determine the number of points that we're going to give away to the participants. And at the end of the quarter, uh, the winners um, will be entitled to uh, receive some nice prizes. We also have a yearly uh, contest uh, that just started this year. We haven't done that last year because it was uh, just the starting of the program. Um, so how does it work? Um, we're using these labels uh, on various uh, issues and merge requests um, actually to nominate someone, uh, the security department has to use these labels on merge requests and issues in the GitLab org and GitLab com namespaces. And as soon as we have this uh, kind of nomination, we're going to create automatically this kind of issue in the security department in the project. So every week we're going to open and close these kind of issues and ping the WhatsApp team so that they can vote for the best um, nominations. Um, so in this case, we have uh, one nomination for this week. Uh, every nomination will be in the form of, uh, of a discussion of a thread in the, in the issue. And we're going to count the number of votes from the, um, the AppSec team. Only the, the AppSec team can vote for now, but we're going to extend that in the future. And these three votes means we're going to give away 300 points to the, the author of this merge request and the author is Steve Abrams in this case. Um, in this particular case, uh, the issue is closed and you can see that uh, the merge request has been awarded. We are also sending um, some congratulation, congratulations message here uh, from the GitLab boat. And so all of this is done uh, within this uh, small CLI program we don't have any service running uh, as of today. It's only a CLI running in the pipeline. And to give you an idea of how it works, uh, this is the typical pipeline. We're building the wall uh, program. We're building a Docker image, and we're using this Docker image to um, generate the leaderboards, the prices page, uh, validate the data, and everything. But also, um, the data is um, stored within the repository directory. Um, in a flat YAML file. And this YAML file is updated directly uh, by the pipeline. So when we close an issue, um, it's going to update the awards.yaml file here in the data folder. You can see here the difference. We are nominating and awarding uh, Stephen Brands, who was uh, nominated by Victor de Sousa. And we're generating this, uh, this entry. And this entry is going to generate a merge request. So this merge request here is exactly what we've seen. Um, here we are in the category development. We have four different categories in this program. We have development, engineering, uh, non-engineering, and uh, community. And um, so this merge request is uh, requiring the approval of someone in uh, the AppSec leadership group that we have here, Lawrence, uh, Ethan, James, and myself. Um, so that's all the data that is uh, going into this uh, repository is always approved, reviewed by ourselves, and uh, we can track all the changes on, on these files. And so as soon as we update this file, it's going to generate another pipeline because we're merging that into master, of course. And from here, we have another pipeline running. And at the end of the pipeline, we have this updating book job that is uh, generating a new leaderboard. And in the end book, it's going to update the ranking of the, the participants. So here we can see um, the introduction of Steve Abrams 
um, nomination uh, with the 300 points that we've seen because there were three votes. And so this uh, job is going in turn to generate a merge request in the handbook by the GitLab boat, which is pretty straight, straightforward. It's going to update uh, the markdown page. Um, it's a very simple way to uh, display the, the ranking. And so the markdown page is displayed as, as this in the in the handbook directly. There's nothing really fancy with that. It's very um, very boring solution, but it's working. And we have the, the, the handbook updated directly uh, every week. We don't have anything to do. So that's new. That's a great update. And I'm particularly proud of that. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the documentation of the group discussion. Thank you.